What's up, guys? I got a uh, sweet little episode for you today. He came out at 12.76. A Central Park Bulbasaur uh, nest video. So we're going to watch a few of my catches today. I'm going to show you the area. Uh, then after the catches, we're going to do some evolutions. And I'll probably close you guys off with uh, just some really nice catches for the evening. I am at uh, Central Park right now. The event is fully live. We're seeing all of these uh, gifts inside of the uh, shop. And once you click on them, it actually tells you what's inside of them. Now, somebody said if you buy these, it's really gonna just crowd up your, uh, your bag, limiting you essentially to play. So, but incidentally, you were supposed to be getting the uh, incubators as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a first spin for the day. And let's see if we get it. I don't think, okay, so the incubators are, uh, are not available yet. Now I'm seeing, uh, let's see, I'm seeing an Ammonite. Let's see where that is. That's at the Apple store. Oh man, we got two Pikachus back to back. It looks like a good one. Surprise this dude. He's really strong. That's not bad. We are kind of looking for, uh, for a really high CP one. All right, so what you see on the screen right now is uh, Gap. That's uh, Central Park, uh, which is a uh, Grand Army Plaza. A lot of people go out there just to, uh, I don't know, just to really have fun, hang out. You'll get uh, Dragonites out there. You'll get Snorlaxes, uh, Aerodactyls. Uh, back in the January, in, uh, January, what I'm saying, back in August when it was warmer, you would see a whole bunch of stuff. Now, that's the pond. This is where most of the people will uh, walk around and uh, that's where most of the Bulbasaur's were for the evening. Now thankfully there is a lot of Poke stops, and as you know with the new sighting system what happens is oh, the Pokemon just come up where the Poke stops are. So incidentally there were a lot and uh, it was just it was really really fun and really cool to uh, to farm all those uh, Bulbasaur's out there. So this is a uh, my first Bulbasaur came out here at the pond and uh, it was uh, I guess there were a lot of good catches, nothing like really ran away from me. I think I caught most of the Bulbasaurs that I was trying to catch. Uh, this one that you're looking at the screen, he was one of the uh, two highest ones that I caught. He was a 737 and I, I got him uh, like fairly early in the evening. It was like, uh, what is it, like 615 and I got there just around 4 or 5. So he was, uh, he was actually out there very early for me to catch and I thought that that was very cool. His IVs are strong so Incidentally, he does have good IVs, and he'll be probably one of the few that I evolve here in a few minutes. And I'm not sure which one I want to evolve. I have two of them. And I wish this was like more live, where I could ask you guys for suggestions and advice, and you could be like, Oh, Alex, evolve this one, don't evolve that one. And uh, so that, you know, that would have been uh, really cool. So here, I'm doing an appraisal for him. He's strong, his best quality is HP, and the stats are strong. So the, that's really cool. I kind of like... This late in the game, being level 32, I think I want to focus more on IVs now. And it appears to me that some some of you guys, you're also interested in IVs. So I want to make this entertaining for you. Now this Pokestop over here, uh, these are all like within the pond area. and But that's more towards uh, going up north, towards Central Park. Uh, I stayed mostly in the southeast area of uh, Central Park, which is Gap. And that's, you know, just where the pond is. And I see a lot of people that are visiting, you know, they're very curious about Pokemon and they're always like trying to play and stuff like that. So if you guys are looking for a good Pokemon hunting spot, you want to go to Central Park uh, or you want to go to Bryant Park or uh, Times Square. Times Square is also very good. So uh, here is another uh, fresh uh, Bulbasaur catch. Uh, they weren't really far, like sometimes when you walk around and you're trying to uh, catch some of them, they'll have like short spawn periods, but then you'll see another one, but it's always like, it's kind of far. So you're, you're like, you're stuck between two spots. It's like, do I go here? Do I go there? So you want to focus on one area. Just stay there. Don't keep going around everywhere because if you keep going up and down between the pond, you're just going to let the ones that you want to catch spawn on, you know, despawn on you. And the ones that you're trying to catch, um, you'll just get agitated with them and you're gonna rush it, you know, because sometimes these are starter Pokemon So you have to throw uh, ultra balls in them. You got to give them raspberries and uh, You got to take your time with them because if you're rushing it, you're also, you know, you're also not having fun So 
they were they were not as difficult to catch because I think I do have some badges um, in my Pokédex for uh, for grass Pokémon, and I don't know if those badges help, but I did not have a lot of trouble catching them. Uh, not a lot of stuff ran, and I was uh, pretty happy with that. Right now, I have enough candy to evolve just one and possibly power one up. Now, this is the one that I'm considering evolving. He is a 797. I mean, you know, it's like to power one up, you have to spend a lot of candy on it. And to spend candy, you got to catch more of them. So if he's already high up there in CP, you know, why not just take advantage of that also? There was a whole bunch of other Pokemon there too. You guys will see in the video. Uh, I apologize about the honking outside. I don't know what is going on. Oh my gosh, that guy is just not letting out. I wish I could go out there and say something. So you guys uh, will see me uh, doing some evolutions now. I think we're going to wrap it up here uh, as far as catches. I hope you guys enjoyed this catch so far and I hope it inspired you to go catch. I got all of the Pokemon that I want to evolve uh, starred. So I got some Krabbies. You know, I got some really good Pokemon here, but mostly, like I said, some really good IV stuff. Uh, this guy actually was a wonder. I didn't think appraise him to the exact T, but I think he's a fairly good one, so I'm gonna evolve him. I haven't uh, had a good Sandshrew in a while, so Sandshrews are very useful and uh, they got some advantages against the electric Pokemon. Uh, we're gonna get, we're gonna evolve an Abra. This is gonna be my second Alakazam. Oh, you know what? I'm, I'm short. I'm short on candy. I want to evolve him. I think that's why I started him. So here, let's see what we got on this Grimer. We got all the candy. I actually don't have a really good muck. I don't have a... I had a muck. It was like 600, 700 CP, but I ended up erasing him. And then, of course, I got some evolutions here just for points. So what we're going to do... Uh, we're going to evolve a Bulbasaur. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have enough candy for this too, but he's a... This is a really high IV uh, star you. We're going to evolve a Bulbasaur, maybe a Ponyta, and a Sandshrew. So here, these are the two catches from yesterday. And here, we're going to appraise him again. So he's really strong. The best quality is its defense, and stats are really strong and impressive. So uh, he's actually, he's not bad. He's actually very good. He's not 100. And this is the second one. I will save him. I'm not going to transfer him. There we go, 14 transfers. Man, that was fast. That was really, really fast. Let's see what uh, what he came at at. He came at a 1276. I think we're gonna breach 2000. I think we're gonna breach 2000. Let's see what that goes at. 1276 is definitely one of the highest uh, IV stores that I've had. Usually I'll get like 1200, 1150. Um, but this could be just a little bit higher than one of my other ones, which is a 19 something. I kind of forgot. Let's see. 21, look at that, 21, 31. He has Razor Leaf and Petal Blizzard. I don't know if Petal Blizzard is the best one. I think Solar Beam is on him, but these moves have high DPS. Wow, yo, we lucked out actually. So here's the Bulbasaur nest for you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're in Central Park, uh, tweet at me. I will leave all my information below if you need some tips, directions and stuff like that. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, be sure you enter my giveaway. And uh, I'm going to have some catches for you playing right after this. So be sure to uh, check those out. And I'll catch you next time.
Hey, Lucas. 